Hello, Internet. I'm Juicebox, and today we're playing Mpembe Radio. It's a little disconcerting how the title screen is completely silent. But, luckily, we've got a uh, nice little English translation, apparently. So I don't have to translate everything myself on the fly. The Steam page seemed like it was written... Like, that description seemed to be written by a human being who can understand English, so... I need to adjust this window real quick. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. There we go. Okay. Now I've got a Steam stream preview going. Um, hopefully... You know what? Either way is good. If this whole game's translated, that's good. If it's like Poop Spotter, where we just find some random section of the game where the majority of the game's dialogue is hiding and is not translated at all... I'll deal with that when we get there. But for now, let's start. Wast. Interact. You can examine objects in front of you. Shift runs, because it's a horror game and we need to be able to run. Please work, Twitch. Is Twitch not loading for you? Or too many commercials? What's the What's the deal? It's time to go home. The forest I have to pass through on the way home makes me feel gloomy. Well, it's not... dramatically wrong. It's probably gonna be okay. Ice cream! Hey, kid. A hundred yen for an eraser. Oh, but they're being maintenance right now. Are you really going to try to buy this? Third try. Finally in chat. Is fun functional. Good stuff. Hey, kid. Yankee, I want to collect all the items from this gachapon machine, but it's hard to complete the set. This gachapon keeps giving out the same things over and over. I mean, why do you want... Mpembe eraser erasers. Are those fireworks? Oh, hey, kid, who was standing next to me when I loaded into the game. Are you listening to Mpemba Radio? N is Dutch for and I forgot. And finally, chat is functional. Oh, okay. Oh, Kimi is me. No, I haven't heard of it yet. Really, it gives a small task every time. You should give it a try, too. There is nobody in the shop. Just break it. That would not be very Japanese of us. Yes, I'll listen to it when I get home. Maybe I'll replay this in Japanese, because this translation is functional, but bland. Hey, other kid. Your house is conveniently close. Once you pass through the forest at the back of the park, you're there in no time. I envy that shortcut a bit. So Machiko and Machiko's sister, who I guess our character does not know the name of. The bus is running later than usual. I want to get home quickly and listen to Mpemba Radio. What is that? Oh, it's a rubber band gun. Sumi Ue. That's a name. This is a handmade rubber band gun. I plan to make it capable of firing six shots. They just let you do that at your school? I'm going to take your backpack. This is a hand... No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your backpack. I'm trying to take your backpack. Fine. Fine can't jump. I can run. But if I can't jump, I can't really interact with, like... Okay, I wish someone would paint this. Konnichiwa, Jusu-san. Konnichiwa, Yinku.
So this game has an English translation, so we're using that for everyone else's, like, accessibility sake. It's a little bland, but it's functional, so we'll, we'll, we'll deal! This road is fine in the morning, but it's a bit scary in the evening. Yeah, see, I wouldn't be able to read that that fast in Japanese. It's a very well-maintained shortcut. Scarecrow is not doing its job. Wonder why there's a scarecrow here. It's not scaring the crows, clearly. I'm a little scared. Wanting to go home to hear the radio is kind of weird. Just take the radio with you. I don't know when this is set. Like, what year this is set in. Yinku is also a little scared. <laughs> Nothing weird's happened yet. Cat, 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 cat. It's Kitty. Yuki-chan, I'm back. I guess this is my cat. Great. That's a good cat. So I guess this is a hint to when this game takes place, because I got this, like, delivery box for milk. Oh boy, radio time. Do you listen to the radio? Kibye. Like I said, the, the translation here is it's functional, it's not great. Uh, I guess we listen to the radio. Can y'all hear that? Do I need to turn up the volume? ブクマデンメン。でんでん。今日も何が届いてるよ。はい。読んで読んで。ルータロ、デンデン、こんにちは。私は小学生の女の子です。学校からの帰り道、一人で歩いていると寂しく感じる時があります。帰り道が楽し
and I've never seen it come out. I wonder if it really exists. Nope, it's just there to get you to spend more money. Have you ever seen the swings in this park moving by themselves? It's called Wind Machiko. Huh? I've never seen that before. Someone mentioned seeing that. It's outside of school, but it seems to be one of the scary stories associated with the school. Well, at least it didn't go, like, literal translation of Gakko no Nana Fushigi, Seven Mysteries of the School. Just scary stories associated with school. That's much more natural English. So whoever translated this has some grasp on the idea of Japanese and English are not the same. Hi, Machiko's sister. What's up? Machiko always tells scary stories and tries to scare me. But it's totally fine. Got that gun working yet? Sumie? Sumi Ue? Are you listening to Mimpimba Radio? Not right now. I stopped listening because I was scared. What's scary? Yeah, there's a rumor that scary things happen if you ignore the challenge, right? So there's a rumor like that, huh? Only two kids taking the bus. That can't be a good school. I mean, these kids can make it as soon as the bus gets here. We'll just run across. We'll be good. Sumi Ua is just... He needs, like, a workbench to work on his rubber band gun. And, uh... I guess didn't want to impose on Machiko. Well, it's just a rumor, though. So if I ignore the challenges, bad things will happen. Be careful where you grab on this swing. It's dangerous. Yeah, I, I feel like you could get yourself your fingers pinched in these little joints. Well, let's uh, let's ignore how the game's supposed to work and see what happens when we walk down the street. Stay on the sidewalk. We're gonna stay on the sidewalk like a good little child. This way is a detour. I love swings, but I hate that design. It seems pretty common in Japan. Ah, uh, this is a very long block. And it's not doing that thing where, like, we seem to be making progress, but actually we're not. Hmm. This says, Kikan des. Haite wa ikemasen. It's dangerous. You're not allowed to enter. That's one big school, and there should be more kids taking the bus mathematically. Uh, that's a good point. Maybe those kids are in clubs, and we're just like the go home club. But if there were kids at the school doing club activities, you'd hear them, right? Oh, it's another kid. Or it's Machiko. I'm back here again. Did you just see me go that way, Machiko? No. No, she, she didn't notice. Can I sit on the bench? No? Alright, so there we go. There's our first really weird creepy thing, is the world loops. Right, let's go talk to the Scarecrow. Hopefully he doesn't talk back. No outside club? These look like elementary school students. Even if they were doing club activities inside the school, it would probably be loud enough for us to hear it. Hi, Scarecrow. The theme of Mbembe Radio was, let's try talking to a Scarecrow, right? Yeah, we'll talk to it. Hi. Hi, Scarecrow. Hello, Scarecrow. Nothing's happening. That figures. Let's go home. Outside clubs? Yeah, outside clubs are a thing in Japan. Like, sports and stuff. Wait, wait. 
did you just talk to me now? Oh, we're having a conversation now, Mr. Scarecrow. Sorry, sorry, I was taking a nap. Don't look so surprised. I know you always pass through this way. I was actually in a lot of trouble, so I've been waiting for someone to talk to me. The school doesn't like outside stuff. It's probably not good for these kids to breathe this air. So maybe outdoor club activities have been cancelled for now until, like, the f smog clears up. What's troubling you? While I was taking a nap, that darn crow snatched one of my eyeballs. That was missing yesterday, Mr. Scarecrow. There's a nest deep in this forest, and it seems to be a gathering seems to be gathering various things. Would you help me retrieve my very, very important eyeball? Uh oh, sorry, force a habit. You could use the text to speech to make it scream at me. I understand. I'll try searching. Thank you. My eyeballs are shiny blue buttons. We're only looking for one, though, right? Oh. No, he just teleported us into the forest. This isn't much of a forest, though. Laser crow. Well, let's see what happens when we talk in a laser. I'm frozen. I can't move. Oh, that's not too bad. People sleep more than once a time. There are no lights on and the sun isn't that bright. Are you talking about the school? I'm not sure if maybe they be maybe they're conserving electricity. Or maybe this takes place in the nineteen nineties when even fluorescent lights weren't really that bright. There was once a time when you would be in your house at night and there were shadows. These three crows just like rocking out together. I'm getting the impression that these crow lasers are not very... They're pretty forgiving. Ah! Nope! That one got me. How far are they gonna drag me back? Are you for real? All the way to the beginning. Okay. We'll just be a little bit more careful. I know. Also no... Windows. So that tracks. Yeah, the crows just send me back. They're not... that mean. I'm sure if I, you know, get used to this, I can go faster. Eventually we'll speedrun this. Actually, let's hope we don't. Let's hope I do not get so used to this that I'm speedrunning it. Okay, this is one that got me last time. Just pass under there. No problem. Hi, Bopker. We are, uh, playing Metal Crow Solid. No, we're, um... We're trying to help a scarecrow get his eyeball back. These crows have taken it. Okay, this part's a little tricky.
And that's a pro statue? The E button doesn't do anything to- oh! Oh, hi, nest. This is a crow's nest, isn't it? It really has all sorts of things in it. Blue button, blue button. Got it. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for finding my eyeball. I'll moderate my naps from now on. What does this guy have to do other than nap, though? Scare crows? Whatever, let's go home and say hi to our cat. Hi, Yuki. I'm back. Good cat. And then we listen to the radio. And it won't let me sit on this cushion. I have to listen to the radio on this hard rock. That is a BT. What's a BT? What is a BT? Do you listen to the radio? Yes. If something happened to Yuki, I hate this game. Um... This Cats of Lore person has, like, a recommendation of horror movies and horror novels. That's all about there are cats in them, but nothing bad happens to the cat. I hope that this is one of those games that can go on that list. What's our second challenge? Here we go. That is a beauty. The cat? It is a good cat. The secret numbers are red, yellow, and white. Why do you keep calling these secret numbers? Red, white, yellow. Japanese flag and then something bad happens. Red, white, yellow. The theme of Mbembe Radio was the secret numbers are red, white, and yellow. I wonder what they mean by secret numbers. And they definitely said suji in Japanese. They definitely said numbers. This isn't a mis this is not a mistranslation. This is just the game being weird. So the number red. Well, there's red. It's red bricks. Why well, start counting the challenges today? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the numbers are actually colored numbers? Ooh, yeah, there could be a red number, a white number, and a yellow number. Let's look for something like that. Or, we could take my friend's backpack. Give me your backpack. We heard the news about the increasing number of missing children lately? Wow, Saya, that's a messed up way to start a conversation. Who starts a conversation like that? Yeah, it's a little scary, isn't it? Adults always warned us to be cautious around strangers, but what we fear the most is the mummy man, right? I didn't fear him until now. Mummy man? Do you not know? It's a figure wrapped entirely in bandages that suddenly appears. Even if you find it, you must never touch it. What happens to people who touch it? If you touch it, the mummy man wraps bandages around your entire body and turns you into a mummy man too. That sounds scary. That was enlightening. Thank you, Sai. Let's see, we got a red post box. Get any of them special gachapons? If only the secret could come out, then everything would be complete. It's late. 16.30. You sure you ain't the late club and not the early club? Yeah, I guess that the shorthand is past four. 
so these kids probably did do some club activities. Or maybe we just stayed at school and, like, did some homework. I think elementary school students in Japan have homework. Um... Basu Shogako Noriwa. Yay, I can read pixelated Japanese. This is the, the bus stop for the elementary school. We also have the hint of these children all have elementary school backpacks. Whatever, anyway. Hey, hey, do you know any scary stories related to school or anything else? I've heard stories about hearing laughter in empty classrooms. This game seems to have good attention to detail. I think it's one of those really, yeah, short games that's just like every little thing has been thought about. Is that a ghost? I'm not sure. I heard there was a kid who went missing while playing hide and seek a long time ago. But maybe that kid's still hiding and playing somewhere. Ooh, spooky. Hi, Machiko's sister. The tulips in this park are artificial, but they look beautiful, don't they? Artificial tulips fade in the sun pretty quick. Okay. They've got the colors we want. But let's see about the rubber band gun real quick. How's your rubber band go doing? How's your rubber band gun doing? <laughs> the children laughing. It's just wind. Or tin walls. Or thin walls, even. I'm saving up my allowance because there's an airsoft gun I want to buy. Okay, Sumiue. That's an interesting one. You're gonna shoot the mummy man with your airsoft gun? There is a cool revolver look called M29, but for now, I'm making do with this homemade gun. Okay, I don't think you need anything more, uh, more firepower than your rubber band gun for now. Are red, white, and yellow referring to this flower? Well, it doesn't seem to do anything. The playground equipment is broken and doesn't move. Oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah. Red, white, yellow. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, red. So six. One, two, three, four, white. So six, four, six, four, one, two, three. Six, four, three. Shooting ain't touching. I guess the rubber band would turn into a mummy man. That's true. 643. As someone that works with flowers, come on, get some real ones. Yeah, the like these ones, the color will fade in like a month or two. Assuming they're made out of like plastic. Four. No, it was six, four. Six, four, three. That's a bad lock. I didn't even have to pull it. All right, so the numbers made sense. I was kind of hoping for a secret in the corner. This place used to be vacant. There were bushes here too, and I couldn't pass through. Uh, hello, mister. You don't look creepy. Mister. Well, 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 you're a cute girl, aren't you? Are you alone? Let's go home.
Let's go say hi to our cat. <laughs> what irony. Hi, Scarecrow. Another beautiful day today, isn't it? See, Scarecrow knows how not to be creepy. The crows are also creepy, but they can't help it. You know, let's go explore the road on this side real quick. Since we did it over on the elementary school side, right? Why does the forest path connect? Or have the same starting point? Where is you? I assume this is going to loop. We'll look for Yuki then. When I was in middle school, honestly, there was a not nearly this well-maintained path through the forest that when I walked to school, I would go through it. I'm sure those woods are cut down now. Yuki's inside. Yuki might be inside. That's a good place for Yuki. Hmm, so the texture on the wall loads based on my proximity, not based on my camera angle. And this road also loops. Right. Yuki is safe and smart cat. Yeah, it's, it's better that she's inside. Oh, wait, no, she isn't. Hi, Yuki. I'm back. What are you doing here? Being awesome. I mean, that's still pretty safe. Just cat doing weird cat things. Yeah, I'm going to I'm pretty sure they translated those two lines separately when they were still one thought, but it's fine. This translation is perfectly functional. Here we go. Take a detour on the way back. So what I've already done, basically. <laughs> we takes. Alright, so I guess we'll take a detour on the way home. Or we could just go straight home. These challenges have been a little bit underwhelming. Take a detour on the way back. Hang on, the bell noise is coming from that direction. Oh, and I haven't bothered to read that, but it doesn't say anything interesting. It just says Dagashia, which means cheap candy place. Hey, Sai, I got any more creepypasta for me? I wonder if the rumor about scary things happening if you ignore the challenges from Pembe Radio is true. Makes you wonder what's going to happen, doesn't it? Right, so we're just going to take her advice and we're going to go straight home. See if anything creepy happens. It must be tough to have the same challenge for Pembe Radio every time. Huh? The same every time? Will I be able to finish once I collect everything? Is that his Mupembe challenge? Just collect all the capsules? Is this Mu and Ben Ben? It's like the professor making you buy their book. 
I'm hungry. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. Curry was served for school lunch today, right? On those days, we often have curry for dinner at home, too. That's weird. Yeah, it happens. That's something that happens occasionally, right? Sorry, I'm just remembering the Simpsons uh, Treehouse of Horror episode about the like parody of The Shining where Millhouse's mom is like, we need to know what the lunch schedule is ahead of time. I do not like the idea of Millhouse having two spaghetti dinners in one day. It has nothing to do with this, though. Taking an adventure on your way home is the opposite of what elementary schoolers should be doing. And it is what they will be doing. Usually. It's more fun that way. Hey, do you know about the mummy man? Yeah, Saya told me yesterday. That's the one you absolutely shouldn't touch, right? Yeah, I saw it from the bus window yesterday. What was the mummy man doing? It was just standing there. Okay. How's the gun going? Did you open the lock on that door? Yeah. That was a creepy guy back there. Not creepy in the way these games are supposed to be. I wonder why there was a lock on our side. There's an empty house beyond that, right? It's not an abandoned house anymore. A man converted it into a haunted house. Uh, I guess I'm just making things up. You shouldn't enter the house. You didn't happen to enter the house, did you? You know, you should be careful around strangers. Assume you, uh, I did not enter the house. I was careful around strangers. Maybe not careful enough. Alright, so Table Tanks does not exist anymore on the game browser of Opera. Aw. We need more ripoffs of Wii Tanks. That was a good game. The tulips are artificial. This is still not painted. Uh. Um. Okay. They locked. They locked this gate. So I guess we're gonna just ignore the strange man. Cause I saw a gate near his house. Maybe we can go around. Yeah, he's not even out here. This gate also seemed to be closed, though. Maybe we can get around from behind his house? What are they gonna do? Call the cops? I can't jump. There is no jump button. There's a run button. Maybe I can ram it. No. So horror video game logic says I should go into the house now, but... It's blocked off. The theme was, let's take a detour on the way back, right? Maybe I should take a detour. Well, they did call this a detour originally, right? Let's use some of that um, elementary school or infinite energy and just run. Maybe we'll get fast enough to go into an alternate universe. What? Uh... <laughs> it now says... Anzen des, dozo, o haidi kudasai. It's safe. Please come in. Let's go inside. Sure. Very clear instructions. No, what is this? Why Why is there this, like, rusty fencing? Who made this? Darn winds pushing the door in. 
pushing the door, locking the door. Okay, ready for the jump scare? Who's ready for the jump scare? So the first plank of wood we found had tires next to it. Five tires. And it's a maze. Come to think of it, somebody snuck in here once and said it's like a maze. Can I get out of here? I mean, if I'm an elementary school student, I'm, I'm not going home now. I'm just playing around the construction site. Are you kidding? This is awesome. I played it when it did exist and table tanks. It was polished and it sounded like that radio song. Just enjoying the echoes. Oh! Is the sound working? I think so. Just don't touch him. Just don't touch him. Yeah, no thank you. He's he's just gonna stand there menacingly. It's fine. Bom, 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 bom. Got any comments on these uh tires, Kimi? No? Uh oh. It's mummy man. I see you. I see you. Oh, when did you get there? There's lots of mummy men. Can I bang on this? That's just a wooden pillar on a construction site. Yeah, and the, the, the little squick noise of just the wind. Um, just, just passing through, mummy man. No big deal. Well, we're definitely taking a detour on the way home. Theory, there's a lot of other kids who were taken. Instead of you touch it, you become wrapped up and become one. So you think the mummy men are just other kids? That makes sense. If I had bombs, this is obviously a secret. I am hopelessly lost now. Just so you know. Kids ain't that tall. You just wrap, like, two kids together. Stack them up. I 
Like, I'm hoping this place makes Euclidean geometric sense. I think that was the entrance. Not a secret. You know, kids, they can't... They can't do that. You're saying you can't stack kids? Have you tried? I mean, this seems like this... I want to go this direction, right? So... I hope I'm not that hopelessly turned around. Hi, mummy man. Uh, this looks like a way out. Maybe not. Yay! We found a way out. Probably. I'm glad I can get out from here. You are next to the entrance. Well, yeah, I am now. I don't remember walking past this alley. But I think my house is this way. It doesn't matter which way my house is, because this road loops. We'll get there eventually, right? This game needs a jump button. I need to be able to bounce. Hi, Yuki. This yard is kind of depressing, honestly. Like, it's just bare dirt, mostly. You'd think they put down some gravel or some grass or something. Like, no wonder they have to take their shoes off of the door. I'm a little late. I wonder if the radio's still on. I'm back. The cushion's warm, isn't it? Good little potato cat. It's probably five by now. We don't know how time works here. God, Moo just sounds so pathetic and awful. Wait, this is a fourth challenge. No, wait, no, Ben Ben's the eh, sounding one. I don't think I want to meet you guys. Not in real life. That's a sticker you put on elementary school students' papers when they do a good job. Like when they get a hundred. Thank you for playing. The kerning on that exclamation point's a little off. Unreal Engine, blah blah blah. So, am I cursed for the rest of my life? I have to go straight home after class, or else something creepy will happen. Whatever, that's the game! That's not quite Table Tanks, no. It's not. 
this game isn't quite table tanks quality either, but it was creepy for what it was. There didn't really feel like any payoff. Maybe that's okay sometimes. Just a little creepy. The children tell you about the mummy men. That wasn't as spooky as I thought, actually. Yeah, it wasn't really that spooky. Um, Monday, though, we start Crow County. And that is going to be spooky. Hang on, let me look at my... Let me look at the calendar real quick. So, yeah, hopefully I can beat Crow County in two weeks. Like, next week and the week after. Because then the week after that, I, I'm i going to be house-sitting, so I'll be not streaming for a week. But that's that's like three weeks from now, so don't worry about it for right this second. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, This game was cute. I've got nothing else really to say about it. I'm um, glad it had an English translation. Save me some mental effort. Oh, yeah, there's a partially random um, Grizzco rotation right now. So if you play Salmon Run, now's a good time to do it. You can play with the Grizzco Roller again. I'm probably going to do that in a little bit, but not on stream. Anyway, bye. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.